I felt shocked at first and a little bit angry at myself because I didn't take action earlier. Well, my journey actually started September 29th when I had a heart attack. I thought it was food poisoning. So I went home and I ignored most things and then went to the uh, doctors the next day. So I went through a series of tests over the next couple of weeks and finally they said, yeah, you've already had a heart attack, so uh, we need to go in there and take a look. Went through the procedure, cardiac catheterization, got six stents in my heart. Uh, and it wasn't until after uh, that I started looking back at my family history and realized that, okay, yeah, I've had a long history of high blood pressure and high cholesterol. I went to a conference and uh, then I met a couple of folks from the FH Foundation and said, what is FH? I started connecting the dots and looking through my background and my military medical records and found out that, yeah, I've had this problem for a long time. Then the, the concern switched to my family and my, my daughter, who's 27, she also has high blood pressure and high cholesterol and the doctor wasn't treating it. So I said, well, it's time to change doctors because we need to get this addressed and make sure that you get the care that I ignored over the years freedom to evaluate whether you have FH before you get in a situation like I did is a wonderful thing. I had the freedom of choice, I had the opportunities, I had the availability of, of medicine and treatment, but I ignored it. So why you still have the freedom of choice and it's not a matter of keeping yourself alive, make the choice to get tested, test your family members, and make sure that uh, it doesn't happen to you. Don't be like this, Joe.